Ezekiel 33, 6. But if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but the blood I'll require of the watchman's hand. Luke 21 verse 25, and there should be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth, distress of nations, with perplexity, the seas and the waves roaring. 2 Timothy 3 verse 1, this know also, that in the last days, perilous times shall come. This message is for the body of Christ, all the way down to every single individual, amongst the United States. And specifically in regards to this video, all throughout Indianapolis, look at your nation. Look what it has become. Look at your states. You've begun to worship people more than the creator. You cast your money upon a woman. You cast your gold and silver amongst a man. You walk around pridefully and your cities are becoming destroyed. You walk around with languages that have already been rebuked. You walk around with knowledge that have already been destroyed. There is a knowledge, there is a word that no man could rebuke or gainsay. And that is the word of God. The real body of Christ that loves the enemy. The real body of Christ that loves thy neighbor. That doesn't pick and choose who their neighbor is. Indianapolis, United States, it's time for you to wake up. It's time for you to see. Break those things off of you. It's time for you to see what is happening. This isn't a battle in the flesh. The word of God declares that there'll be spiritual wickedness in high places amongst every single nation. Luke 21 verse 25 says, We'll be given signs in the heavens and signs on the earth during a time of distress of nations with perplexity, the seas and the waves roaring. Over the last month, Luke 21 verse 25 has come to pass continually just in the United States alone. And now you're witnessing distress of nations with perplexity, just like we've been witnessing amongst every single nation. And the body of Christ has been sitting back idly. Every single individual has been sitting back idly with some theory, some thought, some man knowledge. How pitiful, how little. You worship man instead of the creator. You worship the creature more than the creator. And you wonder why we're given certain kings and rulers when our nation has gone astray. It is time for you to pay attention and understand the judgment of God is at hand. Amongst every single state, amongst every single nation, the heavens believe, the earth believes and trembles, the seas and the waves obey, a language that no man could rebuke or gainsay. The real body of Christ loves every single individual and understands that a kind word turns down great wrath. That a kind word is like heaping continual coals of fire upon them. And the word of God declares that in the last days, this nation should be tried by fire, the refiner's fire. And the word of God is extremely clear that there'll be perilous times, distress of nations with perplexity. Every single neighbor in the United States has become divided. Every single person is turning on each other. You nasty, disgusting, wicked rulers in high places. Look at how your nation is becoming. Has President Obama said anything about the protest in 30 cities? Spiritual wickedness in high places. Has Donald Trump forgiven people that have come in against him and asked for forgiveness for things that he has said? Have the Hillary Clinton supporters been protesting and acting in a way that they're speaking? They speak of peace and sudden destruction is behind them? The word of God is extremely clear. From the heavens to the earth, every single state is now witnessing the judgment of God. You cannot rebuke the one and only God. And you will see in this video in Indianapolis, individuals with different mindsets, 
They're saying that we worship one God. This is very true, but there is only one God, Jehovah, and he gave us his son, Jesus Christ, and he controls every single thing from the heavens to the earth. The video following this video will make it extremely clear that God will give a nation, a ruler, a king, based on the nation they've become, based on if they choose the world or the kingdom of God. There is no rebuking the things from the heavens to the earth. Go look at Italy. They've been destroyed. Go look around the planet. Just last month, the seas and the waves roaring. You're witnessing Luke 21 verse 25. Hurricane Matthew destroying witches and witchcraft down in Haiti. Coming to visit the United States to let these wicked rulers know the things to come. And America thinks it's one man, some person named Donald Trump, that's causing all this racism. That's causing all of this division. That's causing all of this chaos. Absolutely not. This is years upon years upon years of people hating their neighbors. People taking from their neighbors and never giving. Do not complain about the reward from what you have sown. Every single nation shall be destroyed. This planet is a footstool. What you're going to see in this video, people are saying that we worship the same God as the Muslims do. That we worship the same God as the Buddhists do. Well, we all know that this is untrue. But we're not to be nasty to these people. We're not to put people down. In these protests, you're seeing things from racial division all the way down to just, I mean, economic views. Every single thing you could think of. And instead of the body of Christ being out here and praying over these people and being kind to all these people and helping all these people, you're sitting there in a house that God gave you watching your nation being destroyed. And you want to talk about saving lost sheep. The word of God declares that a wise man wins souls. Did Jesus run when confronted with the enemy? Did Jesus run from demons? Did Jesus run from sickness? Absolutely not. So where is that body of Christ that's on fire? Where is that body of Christ that has forgiveness? Where is that body of Christ that has their lamps full and overflowing with grace? These are extremely important matters. There's racism all throughout our country. People hating everybody. The real body of Christ needs to do something. The real body of Christ that understands that we're the restrainer and we're to work. We're to love our neighbor until God returns. We're to be an example of him. We're not to be throwing stones and casting people down. We don't battle in the flesh. The word of God is extremely clear. We battle against spiritual wickedness in high places spiritual darkness the nasty wicked rulers of this world and you're seeing this manifest from the spirit into the flesh pouring out on the street and nobody is doing a thing obama hasn't said anything trump hasn't said anything the media isn't trying to say anything how about the real body of christ where is the fire where is the love? This nation will be destroyed in an instant, suddenly. Know the word of God. It will be like the days of Noah. It will be like the days of Lot. God promises fire to rain upon us. Quit dividing each other. Quit hating each other. Quit thinking you have better knowledge than other people. If you really know the word of God, you will be loving these people. There's definitely people amongst them that have their whole conscience seared. And those are the ones to battle. Those are the ones that knowingly embody these demons. And they will be destroyed. There is a difference between the clean and the unclean. Some have a form of godliness, but they deny the power thereof. You will see the real body of Christ. All the way from love, all the way to the rebuke and the wrath 
that God has stored up in his storehouses. And it's about to hit our nation. Body of Christ, wake up. You're going to see in this video, the real body of Christ, this planet is a footstool. God will give you gifts and talents and make room around you so you can really see what's going on. And how dare you choose this planet over the kingdom of God. Real body of Christ, you need to do something. You can't just be sitting there praying, throwing arrows out of your window. Faith without works is dead. Get out there and love people. Get out there and stop the enemy. It better happen and start here in Indianapolis. It better start happening in these other cities where this same message is being preached right now. We're to love our neighbor. We're not to be like those nasty lawyer hypocrites that say, who is thy neighbor? I could reach Egypt. Those are my neighbors. What is unclear about these things? Where's the body of Christ in every single city last night praying? All you saw is division. All you saw is people fighting the police. All you saw is people rioting and burning down cities. You're seeing these protesters talking about love and they're hurting every single thing around them. Just as it is written, they'll speak of peace and sudden destruction is behind them. Look at Turkey. Look at the UK and Brexit. Look at Syria. Look at Damascus. We're talking about biblical things coming to pass. And it is now here in the United States. Warriors from the street. Warriors all the way to the top. You better start doing something. Faith without works is dead. Where are the real representatives of the body of Christ? You'll see that God allowed me to sit back. This planet is full and truly a, a, a footstool to sit here and watch hitting every nation. The same thing that's hitting Indianapolis is hitting other states and cities much worse. They're going to lie to you on your media and tell you that these are peaceful protests. But you'll see in this video people attacking cops. With homosexual flags trying to hit cops. Trump Trump military vehicles with, with Trump flags on their vehicles almost running people over. People cursing and throwing stuff at the police. The police having to arrest people and tear gas people. America, I promise you, you do not want the wrath of God. Look at all of the other generations that history could prove that have utterly been erased. We've only been here for a few hundred years. This is not a good way to end it. Our nation was founded on God. We need to come out from among them. Let's pay attention to this video. You're going to see again, God bless me. This planet is a footstool. Sitting there eating the awesomest, best cinnamon rolls on the planet. I knew this stuff was coming to our city. I mean, these cinnamon rolls were great. The coffee was absolutely amazing. And out of nowhere, and many other people will be reporting this on Market Street, downtown Indianapolis, some kind of trumpet or horn sound starts shaking the buildings as if it was inside the building. And with the media that we have and technology we have, it, shall, it will be reported. From security cameras to people's cell phones. I was on the phone with my fiance watching these things coming to pass. Eating the best cinnamon roll I've ever had. Sitting there praying, preaching the word of God. Jesus loves you. He is on the way. Drinking a cup of coffee with my feet upon the earth. And now I'm telling you what I witnessed. And if you're listening to this message, if you deny Christ publicly, he'll deny you amongst the Father. So what is the opposite of getting out there and fighting for him? What kind of crown are you going to receive? Judgment is on the way for your works. I suggest the body of Christ, the warriors, the repairers of the breach. I suggest all of you get to it. 
all the way from praise to worship, all the way down to the soldiers of Christ that are going to have to battle these enemies. It's here. Every single nation. Know the word of God. But again, this planet is a footstool. And I sat there and I heard trumpets. Other people witnessed trumpets, horns. You'll hear in the video this kid was like, what was that? What kind of siren was that? Everybody came out of the buildings. And then out of nowhere, just gigantic crowds. And the media is going to tell you it was like four or 500 people. You're going to see in this clip, and this wasn't even the entirety, all the way down Market Street, all the way around the, the, the circle. Thousands of people. This is happening in 30 cities amongst our nation. Body of Christ, get up. Body of Christ, wake up. You're more than a conqueror in Christ. This is awesome. <laughs> Where did that horn come? It was like a trumpet, huh? It shook the whole building. I did get a good parking spot, too.
every TV stars and demagogues who think they can be president to get in the world. So when I say fist up, say fight back, fist up!
And for those of you that have been following this channel for some time, those of you that have been praying, those of you that have been watching over me, those of you that are subscribed to this channel, I appreciate all your prayers. I appreciate all of your advice. Recently, as these signs have been coming to pass at an increasing rate amongst every single nation, from the heavens to the earth, many of the subscribers, many of you guys have been reminding me to try to end the message, to try to end every video on a positive note. Not some positive thing in man's sight, but from the word of God. He will return. And the simple fact that we're witnessing this amongst every single nation, not just the protest against Donald Trump. Right now, just in America, you're all aware of all the different protesters, pipeline protests, all, I mean, this just wild stuff. I mean, anything that you could think of amongst every single nation. And there's people that are watching this video and going to watch this video be like, oh, protests have happened all the time. America has, has had several different types of large protests all throughout our nation, all throughout our history. But no man could rebuke the simple fact that right now it's currently in 30 states during the most controversial time that our nation has ever witnessed in regards to a presidential debate, in regards to a presidential election. And everybody's heaped themselves onto these wicked rulers, and now we're seeing the reward. And all of the subscribers, all of you following this channel, I really appreciate you reminding me just to make this planet a footstool. To continue to watch and warn. To continue to grow God's kingdom until it returns, just as we're instructed. But I trust and believe that all of you are doing the same thing. I didn't get to tell you about the other cinnamon roll that I got to have and some free coffee that they gave me too. And I sat there and prayed and listened. And we're supposed to love these people. We're supposed to pray over these people. Imagine 500 people showing up to these protests nationwide singing Amazing Grace. Imagine 500 people showing up to these protests and praying over people. I promise you guys, once you walk in that authority, this planet is a footstool. Remember Elijah, he was beat down and destroyed, and a lady made him a pancake, and he came back fighting and destroying the enemy. Where are you guys? Where is that spirit? Where is the body of Christ? You tell me to end things on a positive note. I want to see every single roaring member of the body of Christ, every single warring spirit, all the way down to the praising spirits. From war to love, from the wrath to rebuke. This is what needs to be happening. But those that actually have a glimmer of hope, we're not to break them down and be nasty and mean to them. We're to love the enemy. The warring part, the warring spirits, the wrath of God, the sword of the spirit, the fire of his word, the fire of the Holy Ghost, that's reserved for a special group. And when I drank that second cup of coffee and sat there and listened to the Holy Ghost, I realized we have lists of all these nasty, spiritual, dark people that are putting a haze over all these protesters. They're trying to hide amongst real things that matter. These are Some of these protests would be really, really good and matter for our nation, such as racial equality. These are very important things. If Martin Luther King was here right now, he'd just be shaking his head at everybody. But he knows up in heaven, looking down, the promise of the word of God, that strong members are going to raise up amongst every single thing of affliction, from every single city, and the enemy will be destroyed. So from people that could praise, to people that could pray, to people that could war in the spirit, you need to get to it. But you need to watch how you treat these things. You need to love every single neighbor regardless of how you think. Think like Jesus did. Walk in his footsteps. Be covered in his blood and his grace. Was he out throwing stones at people? He walked in authority and told the demons to come out of him. Do you know how many nasty, wicked, spiritual, wicked people were found just in this city of Indianapolis alone? Look at the video. When I turned around with the camera, 
when these cops are having to correct all these people's behaviors, I turned around with the camera. These little demons, they understand the word of God. They understand the presence of the Holy Ghost. And they tremble. They can't even look at the fire. They can't even look at the light. The darkness cannot perceive the light. But we are to love the enemy. What we're about to see is some wild stuff. And the body of Christ is extremely needed. I'm talking to that. There it is. I'm talking to you. There's going to be a great revival. There's going to be a great revival. We're, we're, okay. Why are you still sitting there? Faith without works is dead. There's another spirit running around saying, oh, well, well the wicked, they're, they're, they're going to run to mischief. The body of Christ sees mischief and corrects it. The body of Christ sees division and corrects it. The body of Christ sees division and avoids it. Totally gets rid of it. What I'm seeing in this nation is a body of Christ that's scared to beat the enemy. You're already told how to beat the enemy. Walk in the authority of God. Love the enemy. Continual kindness is like heaping coals of fire upon them. You're giving gifts in the spirit for a reason. All these churches amongst America talking about trampling on the head of the serpent. Trampling on the head of the wicked. Going after the bear. Going after the adder. The young lion and the lion. Where are these warriors then? Where are the people out singing God's love? Praising God's love over this hatred per city. You're scared of the enemy. These signs shall follow them that believe. 